Hey guys, today we want to talk about primary care physicians. A lot of us that are in the VA system, like myself, we already have a primary care physician at the VA um, clinic here in the Philippines, in Manila. Okay? But I don't want to count that as your primary care physician. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Okay? Although it might be for most of your VA conditions and stuff, you really... When I go up to see my um, VA doctor, they'll only treat you for service connections here. So you should really keep that to service connections. But I want to get into a primary care physician for even regular people that weren't in the military and also that were in the military. We all need to have a primary care physician, okay? And you really have to seek out a decent doctor here who you feel comfortable with over here. And they're not always easy to find, okay? Finding a good primary care physician here can be difficult. You want to go to a hospital a hospital or a doctor or a medical clinic near you and find a doctor that you can see pretty often. Now, I have a medical clinic near me, and I go in there, and I use them kind of as my primary care physician. They're pretty decent. Um, the doctor that I have, she's kind of young. She's kind of new. I feel comfortable with her. I wish I could find something better, and I, over time, I will find a better doctor, Okay. Um, but you need to find a doctor as you age that's going to be really, really good. Most of my other doctors are decent doctors. I have a lot of other, like a decent dentist, a decent dermatologist, um, things like that. You can go to the, you know, De La Salle University Hospital if you live near me or Manila. You can go to like some of the, the more specialized hospitals like St. Luke's or what have you. And in Cebu, I'm sure there's many places down there and all the other places that there are in the Philippines. But find a good doctor. Doctors are cheap here. And let me tell you something. As we age, you should probably check in with your doctor every three months anyway. And let me just say this. If you guys get any sort of skin issues here in the Philippines, go to a doctor immediately. I don't care how small they are. Get them checked on immediately because they start taking off like what happened on my legs. Okay, if you start having skin issues in the Philippines, trust me. You don't want to get to the point where, where my skin issues have gotten. Because I thought it was going to go away. And some weeks I would have good weeks. And I was okay. And other weeks it was really, really bad. So I was wondering, okay, is this going to go away? Is it going to come? Is my immune system going to fight it off? Well, guess what? It's not going to. I'm going to have it probably forever. But they said I can, I, with medicine, I can control what I have on my legs. And it's, it's going to take care of that. Now, I had cellulitis before too on my legs. Um, and that can be very serious because it can turn to sepsis, okay? So any leg issues, don't let it go because it can get very, very serious. You do not want to let it go. When, when, when my cellulitis got really bad, I started getting little bubbles on the tips of my fingers. And I knew, I knew then it was serious. It almost looked like a pimple with a white head. That's what it looked like. And I knew at that point I had to go to a doctor and get help. And the doctor put me on antibiotics to fight it off. And it took like two or three tries before that was finally beat and I got it out of my system. And, and I still afterwards still have some sort of skin condition. I believe it's like dermatitis or something like that. But it's serious. It's serious. It's, I, I have it like moderate to severe on my legs. And I have a little bit of it on my arms too. And it's something I never had until I got to the Philippines. And that's why you need to have things taken care of, guys. You know, seek medical help as soon as you have a problem here in the Philippines because of the heat and the different types of bacteria here. You want to be aware that those things like that, they, 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 it happens fast. Mine happened fast. Mine all started with one, mos well, actually five mosquito bites in a row, probably from the same mosquito. It was one after another. And it was definitely a mosquito bite that started it. And that's what started with the cellulitis itching it, things like that. The, the, the bacteria in your fingernails causes the cellulitis, and that's what happened. I got rid of the cellulitis, then I started getting the dermatitis on the, the spots that I had the um, mosquito bites, and it started spreading. And it was some kind of like fungal stuff growing on there too. Like it was really weird, because I'm, I'm super clean. I use powders. I take a bath two to three times a day. Uh, I eat fairly well. I'm very, very clean about myself. I mean, I see some guys walking around here, some expats, and I see them with the same thing that I had, and I see them five times worse than, than the case that I had. And it's like, man, this guy's not getting treated. I feel like walking up, but I, won't, I don't want to embarrass the guy either and say, hey, bud, you should get treated for that because that's serious.
because it is. It's, 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 it's very serious, guys. If you have a problem with skin or anything in the Philippines, doctors are super cheap. Get a good primary care physician, guys. Get it around you, and it could be at a, a local medical walk-in or something like that. It, you know, I'm, fi I'm less than five minutes away from a walk-in right around the corner. There's about four or five of them down there. I'm close to hospitals. I can walk into any of those hospitals and get care pretty easily, or I can go over to De La Salle and see a specialist whenever I want, or see a medical doctor over there too if I feel like it, if I want to see a better one. If I feel like it's, it's something more serious, I'd probably go to De La Salle University Hospital and see a doctor over there because I feel like they're older, they're, they've been around a lot longer, and they see a lot more people, and they know how to deal with bigger issues. You know, but for small issues, walk-ins are good. Get, get like a primary care physician that you walk in and maybe have one at the hospital too. And that's, the, you know, that way for less serious things, you can walk into the walk-in. The other one, De La Salle or whatever hospital's near you, if it's Cebu or St. Luke's or, or if you're up in Subic, one of the hospitals up there. But be sure to have a, a good hospital, guys. It's important, highly important. Trust me, from somebody who knows. God bless, guys. Take care.